Hi, it's Dawson Church here from EFT Universe. I'd like to talk about a concept from my book, The Genie in Your Genes, and it's called the epigenetic social cycle. Now, most of us have heard about epigenetics, the way our genes are affected by forces outside the cell, even outside the genome. An obvious one is you're walking in the park one day, and there's a barking dog. It jumps at you, it pulls off its leash and runs at you snarling and barking and with its jaws dripping saliva, you get really upset and scared. What's happening is your body is translating the external stimulus of the dog that's threatening into internal molecular signals like high adrenaline and high cortisol. And so if people have a lot of these adverse experiences when they're young, if there aren't barking dogs, they're barking people, and chaotic families, family violence, and so on, that produces epigenetic effects in their bodies. And in fact, research shows those people who have lots of those adverse childhood experiences have a lot more heart disease, obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, and all kinds of other diseases than people who don't have those experiences. And that's what I call the epigenetic social cycle. So now we're seeing a whole group of people who are being affected by those adverse social conditions around them. They then, in some new research, are shown to, to pass those epigenetic tags on to their children and even their grandchildren. So research shows, for example, that if a grandmother is depressed, her daughter is more likely to be depressed. Her granddaughter is as well. Epigenetically, without any change in the gene sequence, that these epigenetic tags are passed along from person to person in the course of time in society. And so what I envisioned in my book, Gene in Your Genes, is a virtuous epigenetic social cycle that we learn to de-stress ourselves. We learn the tools of EFT tapping. We learn the tools of energy psychology to reduce our stress, to heal our childhood. It is powerful to go in and remove all those old stressful experiences so they no longer bother you. You then don't pass those tags on to your children. They don't pass them to their children. The buck stops here. I heal and I do not pass all of those adverse epigenetic markers on to my kids. I remembered when I was a kid being mistreated and I had a little mental file in my head and I would, someone would do something to me or say something to me that was really mean and I would say, you know, when I'm a big person many years from now, when I'm grown up, I will never treat a kid that way ever. Then when I was grown up and I had kids, I found myself having all that same, all those same urges coming up to treat my kids the way I'd been treated as a kid. But that card file was in my head and I would say, I will not treat my child the way I was treated as a kid. So I stopped the cycle. I stopped that epigenetic cycle right there and you can do the same thing. When we have hundreds of people doing that, then hundreds of thousands of people doing that, suddenly all those traumas no longer get passed along to the next generation. So the next generation grows up untraumatized. They don't have all those diseases. They don't have all of those epigenetic markers of stress. And then society starts to change. As it improves, as we breed more compassionate, kind, loving, centered, wise people, they then breed yet more, more compassionate, wiser, more centered, people in the next generation. And so gradually the whole human potential of each generation gets unlocked more and more and more. We have this upward spiral. I call that in my book, the epigenetic social cycle. So I invite you, when you're tempted to say something mean or something your parents would have said, especially to a child, the buck stops here. Don't do it. Tap, meditate, release, use the tools of energy psychology, and shift your energy patterns, shift your emotions, take care of yourself. Don't pass those adverse messages on to the next generation. Be part of this epigenetic social cycle of positive change. Share goodness and kindness and wisdom and positivity and enthusiasm with people around you. When you feel anything else pop up, 
use the tools of energy psychology to say no to those kinds of influences from your own psyche that can be passed along to impact the people downstream of you. Also, I'd love to welcome you to check out our Energy Psychology Certification Program. I have a free course sampler, which you can get right down below. Also, give me a thumbs up for this video, and please do subscribe to the channel to be notified of future videos. Thank you so much.